Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make slider using only HTML and CSS. We will not use any JavaScript for creating the slider. We can create slider using only HTML and CSS and this is really simple and we're going to make a slider like this. So for it, let's go back to our code and here you can see I have index.html over here and I also have some image file in my HTML tutorial folder so right now what we are going to do is that first of all we are going to show the image in the browser so for it uh, let's mention a div over here then inside this div we are going to uh, mention a tag and that tag name is figure and in this figure tag we are going to mention the image tag in order to show the image so in the source we are going to show over here image on dot png so here you can see the image name is image on dot png so let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it three times since I have four images. So this one will be image two, this will be image three and this will be image four. So right now if we save then if we just open it using the browser and there you can see it is showing the image over here like this. If we go down we can see all the images over here. And the image size is big, that's why uh, we can also go on the right side to see the image over here. There you can see, uh, we have a scroll bar at the bottom since the image size is too big. So we fix everything on by on. So right now let's go back and first of all, let's mention an ID over here for this div. Where we saw over here ID, let's say ID name will be slider. And right now let's go and write a CSS or write a style for this figure tag. So let's go inside the head section. Inside the head section we are going to show on here style. Then for this style uh, here you can see we have ID slider over here. And inside the ID slider we have the figure tag. So let me just mention the ID first. So for ID we need to give hash. Then we see over here slider. Then we are going to mention the figure tag since the figure tag is inside this ID. So we are going to show over here figure. Then into second bracket. And first of all, what we are going to do is that we are going to show over here position. It will be relative. Then we are going to show over here width. Width will be four hundred percent. We have four images. That's why we are mentioning over here width is four hundred percent. So right now let me just explain why 400%. So uh, every skin, whether it is mobile, desktop or PC is considered as 100%. And we have four images and we want to show the images as a cover for both mobile, desktop, PC, any device. Okay, so that's why. So after it, we're going to say over here margin, it will be zero. We're going to say here padding will be zero. And let's also say over here left, it will be zero. So right now, if we just uh, save it, then here you can see that. Let me just go over here and go at the top. Here you can see there's some space over here. So if we now refresh, there you can see there's no space right now. So right now what we are going to do is that uh, let's just make the image fit to the cover. The image size is too big over here as you can see. So right now let's go back and for the image we are going to write another style. So here you can see that the image tag is inside the figure tag and the figure tag is inside the slider. So right now we are going to say over here hash slider then figure then we're going to show here image then to second bracket let's say image width it will be 20 percent and image height it will be let's say 500 px so why 20 percent so what you are saying uh 20 percent okay not 20 percent when you are saying uh for image with 25 percent it will take the uh, browser skin full 100% because we are saying over here for this figure uh, from this figure tag we are saying with 400% and the 25% uh, of 400% is 100% okay so right now if we save then if we now refresh over here and there you go there you can see it took the width 
hundred percent. And if you go to the right side, there you can see it look like this right now. Uh, so here you can see right now, if we just go on the right side, there you can see images over here, but this image is showing over here. So let's fix it. So in order to fix that, we need to say over here, float, uh, it will be left. Let's save it again. Then let me just refresh here. And there you can see there is now only on image over here. There you go. So it is perfect right now. So right now here we are able to go on the right side. So we do not want this option, this slider option at the bottom. So we remove it. So in order to remove it, all you need to do is that uh, for this ID slider, we need to write single line of style. So here at the top, let's say our here hash slider. Then we we'll say our here overflow. It will be hidden. Overflow hidden means it all show uh, this option. So right now if we refresh, there you can see there is no slider option at the bottom to see all the images, but all the other images is here, but we won't be able to see those. So right now let's go and make a slider so that we are able to see other images over here as well. So let's go back and here you can see slider figure. So over here we are going to say animation, then we are going to mention it time duration let's say time duration will be uh for now let's say 10 seconds we'll increase it later 10 seconds then we're going to say what here slider and here you can see this slider is uh this uh, for this slider okay so right now here we're going to say 10 seconds slider we're going to say infinite infinite means uh the slider will move infinite it will never stop so after it, uh, let's go and write the CSS for this slider so that the image move. So for it here at the end of the style, we're going to say at the top keyframes, keyframes, slider. Then we'll give to second bracket like this, if R A M E S keyframe slider. And here we're going to say 0%. And what is this 0%? Okay, I'll explain, but let me just write the code first, left 0%, then here we're going to say 20%, it will be left 0%. Okay, so what is this 0% and what is this 20%? So here you can see we mentioned 10 seconds and this uh, 0% and 20% indicate the second. 20% means uh, 2 second. If we write over here 30%, it means 3 second. Okay. So, we are saying over here 0% to 20%. We'll see the first image. So, less 0%, it means it will just show us the first image. And after that, uh, we are going to show over here 25%. Then, we are going to show over here left minus 100%. We are saying left minus 100%, it means right now it will show us the second image. So in order to see the third image, we need to write minus 200 and in order to see the fourth image, we need to write minus 300. So here, how long do you want to see the image? So let's say we will show each image for 2.5 seconds. So after this, uh, we need to mention the duration, how long, let's say it will be 45% and 45% means 4.5 seconds and 25% means 2.5 seconds. It means uh, if we say over here left minus 100%, it means it will show the second image for 2 seconds. Okay, so just like this, we can uh, show the other images as well. So here, let's say 50%. And we're going to show here left, it will be minus 200%. And after that, we'll uh, show the image up until 75%, let's say. So we're going to show here left minus 200%. So we're going to show the fourth image at 80%. So we're going to show here 80%. Then we'll say here left, it will be minus 300%. And at 100%, we'll still show the last image. 
uh, which is the fourth image. So we saw one here left minus 300%. Don't worry, I'll explain it again. So here you can see 0 to 20%, it will show the first image. We said over here 0%, 0%, but it means it will uh, show the image for 2 seconds. And after that, from 25 to 45 seconds, it will uh, show the second image. Uh, not 45 seconds, it means uh, around 2 seconds. And around 2.5 seconds, it will uh, show the third image. And the last image will be shown for 2 seconds. So you can adjust the timing the way you want i'll just keep it like this so right now let's just go back to our browser and if we now refresh over here there you can see the images moving over here on by on so we can increase the duration i think it is too fast because we said over here only 10 second uh let's show over here 25 second i think that will be better and uh, if we now refresh right now the image will move slowly just like a slider there you can see and it will move and when it reaches the last image there you can see it reaches the last image and after that it will go back to the first image and there you can see so this is how you can make a slider using only HTML and CSS I hope this tutorial was easy for you if you want more detail like this, then make sure to subscribe. You can give any suggestion in the comment section as well. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.